Happy Hump Day. What's going on, family? Franchise J. Claxon, this beautiful lady sitting to the left of me. I Dr. like it when you call me beautiful. Dr. Cassandra Vaughn. What's going on? How are you feeling today? I feel great. Okay, me too. You um, smell good. I had a good workout. I can tell. I took a shower. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. So I'm glad. We we are good. Um, I, I have some uh some some bourbon. I know, but you, know, you selfishly yeah, only yeah. have a glass. I, ha I have some bourbon, so um, I, I think we're gonna have a good time tonight with, with with our guests. Um, our guests are entrepreneurs. Our yeah. guests are they deal with reality TV. They are in love. They handle business, and their love is on lock. So we'd like to welcome to the podcast right now, Candace Dillett and Chris Bassett. What's going on, family? How you feeling? Hey, what are you doing? Doing? hey How look, y'all, y'all look amazing. So Thank if, you. if nobody so else told y'all today, let me be the first. Y'all look absolutely <laughs> amazing. You hear me? That's Thank good you. because I, I feel like my eye is really red. I just got done with a cooking class and I got hot pepper in oh my, my eye. God, dude. Oh my oh gosh! My. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking, uh, I do cooking classes every now and then, and then uh, today was uh, salsa, tortilla chips, and hot sauce. So the hot sauce, I got some some pepper in my eye. I'm gonna so send him doing to this. Class. I'm not winking at her. I promise. <laughs> I'm gonna send him to your cooking class. I'm a novice though. Oh, did I'm it, a make novice. You hear me? <laughs> cooking is easy. Just put some stuff in a pan and make it hot. Shake it up, make it happen. See, it's, it's, you know, you know, let me tell you, it's hard for me because when I'm, if I'm gonna cook, I'm, you, I'm normally hungry, so I want to eat right there. Right so away. I'm waiting for yeah. the food is really hard for me, but I actually do well on the grill. I actually do okay. well on the grill. Okay. I'll, I'll do some steaks <laughs> and, and some grilled chicken on the grill. I do okay. Oh, well, why, wifey seems to not agree with that. Who seasons your food? Well, she she'll prepare, you know. <laughs> she'll she'll do some kind of little basin, marinated or something like that. But you know, okay. I, I got a lot of spices, and I, I give okay, you, season. you got look. Flavor is always important, but if yeah. we can't get to the table cooked right, don't make no difference. See, this exactly. is this the is a marriage. The grill is important. This is teamwork. Right. That's <laughs> De definitely, definitely, and. And she, you know, she gets the marinade, right? And then give it to me and I put it on the grill and, you know, I'll smoke yeah. my cigar and I'll, I, I'm on the grill and I really think I'm doing something, for real. I really think I'm doing something. You are. If, if she approves and my daughter approves, then I'm okay. That, know? Yeah. You That's know? what I tell all the people in the cooking class when they got their kids up there and they start feeding the food to the kids. It's like, I don't care if you like it. If your kids like it, it's a winner. Right. I've already won. That's yeah. the truth. Because right. they are the hardest. They are right. the hardest. We, we, are, we like wins That's around true. here. We like wins. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So uh, what, what's going on? I mean, it's, you know, 2020 is ending. And a lot of people say it was a difficult year. Um, we don't necessarily say that. Mm -hmm. But um, it, 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 brought to, it, brought, it brought some light to some situations and some things. And... Um, I'm actually, I was really happy at 2020 because it brought um, some light to our relationship. It brought yeah. light to some things that we needed to do. So how did 2020 work for you guys? So we, I think we had a conversation earlier in the, the lockdown of it all mm -hmm. about how this pandemic has proved to both of us that we know that we are right for one another. I think when when you're kind of forced to be sequestered in a small space, which which a person, it really kind of shows you in a way that I don't, I don't think people have ever really maybe seen before how you tick and how you mesh or how you don't. Mm -hmm. And I think for us, we were stuck in the house together. And this one right here is a, a workaholic. He loves to work. He goes to work every day. He's worked every day of his life for the last 25, 30 years. He don't know how to sit down. So when Myron Mixon's, his restaurant closed and he's at home, we were looking at each other like, okay, who, who is you? What are we doing? It, and it, it was a very eye-opening experience very early for us. And we both realized, okay, well, I really like you. We're really friends. I can really hang with you every now and then we did need our space and luckily our we do our new home but our town home was four levels so i would take the top two he would take the bottom two we would have our little 
private time when we come together in the middle and, and, and meet up and have a good time. But we really discovered in this quarantine that we were buddies. I like this guy. Right. right. You know, <laughs> I think it, I agree. I think it, I like this guy too. It is a thing. I tell people all the time, it's not about the good times. It's, oh, yeah. it's really not about that. If you, if you went in and it's good and you having fun, of course you love everybody. Right. That's easy. It's the things that you can't stand about each other. And if Ooh. you can take that, that's exactly. a keeper. And and I think for us, I'm like, I don't know that there's too many things that we can't stand. Like, there's the buttons, right? We, yes. we all have the buttons and like and he leaves his socks and his underwear in the floor. Can't stand it. No, and you don't, Chris. No, you don't. Not my underwear. The socks definitely like I just, <laughs> He just steps out of his clothes and leaves them there. And so like, here's the thing, because so hamper. Like Where's I'll be hamper? in my office most of the day. She's doing her stuff, and then you know we meet in the living room or the kitchen, have something to eat, and then we watch TV or whatever we're doing that night. But the problem is, she likes the house at like 900 degrees, and I like it at about 68. Okay. Mm. We I'm, on, about the, that I'm on the couch and I get hot, so I take my socks off because I gotta let them breathe because I'm across hot. The room. And I might forget them when I go upstairs to go to bed. And what do you say about how I like the house that I think is a, it's like annoying? My the way that I like the house to be. Oh, it, it's a damn museum in here. Like you can't <laughs> touch nothing. You can't move. You can't touch anything. Look, don't take if if I leave my wine glass right here. It's in frame. Get out of the picture. Like, it's little things like the fork doesn't go right there. It goes over here. Oh, that's him. No, that's but, him. but you know what? I'm not going to lie, him. Chris. That, that's me. That's I, him. I need my stuff in this place. It's got everything in this place. Right. I know if you touch right? it. Leave, listen, I'm sorry. Excuse my French. Leave my shit alone. Leave it there. I mean, I, I get that. But here's the thing. Okay. So, how about this? I cook dinner. It's a lovely yes. dinner, as it always is. But, Perfect. you know, we're, we're going to. She's watching something on TV, so we're gonna eat on the couch in the living room. Okay. I didn't intentionally Stress. drop food on the floor. Like it's but not like I, it's not like I took it and I said, but she did and threw though. it onto the floor and made a mess. Like it's an accident. I don't need to be yelled at for it. I know I gotta pick it up. I'm gonna get the okay, result. No, I'm gonna clean it up. But like, relax. No, it's not that serious. It it's is. an accident. Yes, but, but if you don't now, want any accidents, go sit at the table. Well, you want to eat in the living room. I brought the food to you. And you let, 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 let me ask you this. When you drop it, do you clean it up or can yeah. you clean it up? No. Okay, okay. It's <laughs> twofold. He cleans it up. I come behind him and clean it for real. Because he always is a little residue when he cleans. So I, I ain't going to lie. That sound like us. <laughs> I mean, it, and especially during COVID when it first started, we would have people come to the house. You yeah. know, we really couldn't do anything. And as soon as they got up, she Clorks wipes, uh, yes. bleep, like everything. Yes. She's wiping yes. everything now. Because let's be clear, I have lupus and he oh. is a mess, okay? Oh, wow. Yes. COVID yes. is real. So yes, it is real. you get up, I'm spraying you, I'm spraying your clothes, take your shoes off at the door. My, my thing was, it I do, do it after they leave. No. When no. they're preparing to leave, no. they putting their shoes on. She uh, is spraying the whole time. and wiping. <laughs> That's why. But they've already been there. We're not. I'm not mad at you for that because no, and especially because you all are high risk. It's important that you take care of yourselves, and these people should know that. First of all, don't come in my house if you've been exposed to COVID. First of all, first but of even all. if you have, we are gonna drown the COVID with this Lysol, and it's gonna be drowned in the name of Jesus. And then you thank say. you. Thank she you. gets on me all the time because I my 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 train of thought is we okay. We strong, we yes. fine. Yeah. The hell with it. And yeah. she's like, you can't talk like that. People listen to you. They they right. take your advice and right. you won't give somebody the wrong advice. But yeah. that's how my mental was set up. Yeah. Right. My mental was set up to win. I, I love sports. I can't. That's the only that's how I tick. Oh, okay. So we are gonna get to sports. Yeah, that's a good thing, right? But yeah. Candace and I agreed that we were gonna talk about her business first because well, we know the thirty inches. Don't 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 do that. Don't. Yes, yeah, she has all the inches. The thirty inches. <laughs> See, look, Candace, I know. See, I know. Yeah, the bundle. The bundle. We're gonna talk 
about her bundles before you and Chris go on a tangent right. that we don't necessarily yeah, don't understand. So so I'm great. I'm great to give you all the floor. Okay. But that hair is like crap. Excuse my French. Like it, it is. I would. I wish I would have known. Right. I'm there <laughs> dealing that in bundles. <laughs> we we have we wigs. Right we can make you a wig, Jay. Whatever you need. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm good. We, we, can, we can get some hair from no, Kansas we, and we can. We're not weaving anything. No, no, <laughs> we're not, yeah, I'm right. not letting them put Beijing in my beard. Nothing. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, listen, what you see is what you get. Yeah, that's, that's just what it is. Yes. Every day. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, Candace, since we started talking about it, but I really wanted to talk. Let's talk about the movie, um, the BET movie. I yeah. watched it. It was hilarious. Amazing right. job. Let's talk about that first. Like, okay. what was that experience like for you? Was that the first time that you were on camera as far as a television production of that type? Yeah, so this was, I think this was, yeah, this was my first, this was my biggest project. So I, I am an actor, so I have been acting most of my life. I've done several web series, uh, an independent film that's now available on Amazon called Water on a Broken Glass. Um, and lots of other smaller projects. But yes, this film with BET and Octet Productions, which is based in the DMV, okay. was my biggest project to date. Um, my first uh, straight to TV film. And it was really, it was really exciting because number one, getting to work with an all black cast, uh, all black crew, or mostly black crew, um, was really exciting. Um, getting to be low, it, it was shot locally. So getting to shoot locally right here, right at home. It was actually, it took place in Houston, but we shot most of the film right here in the DMV. Um, but it, that was, that was, I think, one of the highlights was getting to work with other uh, local DMV artists and, uh, and, and others who love the, the industry as much as I do. And then we had several uh, of our cast that came from other places. Asia Epperson, who plays one of my sisters. Mm -hmm. You may have seen her on uh, Greenleaf, on Owns right, Greenleaf. Right. Um, Brave Williams, who played my other sister, is from Baltimore. Brave. Yeah, we know Brave. Yeah. 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 We know Brave. I love her mother. Her mother loves me, too. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, shout out to Brave. Hey, to, hey, to my sisters. Um, uh, Rob Gordon, who is from the DMV as well. Amazing Media, talent. Right? Yes, yes. Rennie Cromwell from um, Wild and Out. He's like a huge... Yeah. Median. Yeah, he's from New York. So the, I mean, and ju just that, just same a few. Um, Reginald Bell Johnson played our father. I know. Uh, oh my goodness, how was dad. that? Like, yes, he was the he favorite. Was so like, I loved him on Family Matters. How was that? He's your dad. So he was so chill. He would just kind of sit back, you know, read his lines, tell a story. He loves his dogs. He's always talking about his dogs. Telling us stories about his dogs. Uh, K. Megan Washington played our mother, another DMV artist. Um, so just that was the highlight for me was getting to work with people that looked like me, people who want to work and are working in the DMV, which is really important. People really underestimate the amount of talent that's right here in the DMV. So just I want to shout out to to, to DMV artists, DMV actors, DMV crew members, because they're so important, they matter so much. So that for me was the highlight. And then of course, getting to be on BET and seeing my face uh, in, in my first uh, TV Christmas film on BET was, it was, is still surreal um, and, and hopefully only the beginning. Awesome, awesome. You know, it's interesting because a, a few months ago, we, did, we had to come back home to the DMV to do a photo shoot. And in the middle of the photo shoot, and I don't, when I tell you, Candace, I don't know how this conversation started or whatever. I'm getting my makeup done. And all of a sudden, my makeup artist says, I want you to meet Candace. I was like, oh, who's Candace? Who is it? So it was Kim Lee. Oh, <laughs> it was Kim Lee. And she was, like, she was like, I want you to meet Candace. And I was like, who is Candace? Uh, <laughs> like when yeah. we were talking about, um, I, we were talking about hair, and we were talking about the fact that for the project that we were working on, they wanted my hair to be longer. And yes. she's like, "I want you to meet Candace." Oh, I love. Like, 
She was like, she is such a sweetheart. She has such a sweet spirit. And I was like, well, I need to know who this Candace person is. <laughs> and so she says, do you watch um, Real Housewives of Potomac? I said, every now and again, yeah, I do. She's like, Candace. I was like, she has a hairline? So now I'm like, ah. boom, right. <laughs> Surprise. Right. So tell us about yeah. the hairline. Because yes, you're so, joking about it all those, day. Those inches. I know, I know. Bundles. Inches. We got those bundles. We got I those clip-ins. We have those wig units. Yes. So Prima Hair Collection was started by myself, my mom, and my sister about five years ago now. Um, so we we actually, is it five years? Four or five, yeah. If it, it feels like an eternity. We've been right. sort of I'm operating. still trying to figure out what year we're in now. Right. Yeah, I know it's still 2020. Yeah. Like 2020A, 2020B. B, right. But. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So, so we we offer several different textures, including Peruvian Body Wave, uh, Brazilian Straight. We also offer European extensions for our white girls that need clip-ins and halos. Those are mostly for most of my pageant clients are who okay. purchase uh, the halos and the clip-ins from the Stella collection. And we're introducing a new texture, the Kulali uh, Indian, Indian Kinky Curly. And we're starting that with wig units, so they're 250 density, uh, but 250 percent density bundles that you can now order online at premiercollection.com. It's full, it's thick, it's. I'm actually getting ready to do a photo shoot in that hair very soon. I'm getting it colored, my signature color, and that will be available online very soon for you all as well. We're actually doing a, a New Year's Eve sale right now. 20% off with the coupon code. I believe it's 2021 is the coupon code, but don't quote me on that. But okay. if you go to our Instagram at Prima Hair Collection, you okay. can find out more about that sale and get you some bundles as we roll into 2021 and we're able to go out into the world. You're going to want to, you know, snap back in and get have your hair looking right. like something, have it blowing in the wind, the COVID free <laughs> wind. So get, get you some 2021 Prima Hair Collection bundles. Awesome. Yeah, we we definitely, definitely, I'm going to um, check that out later on today. <laughs> also, you are an accomplished artist. We were talking about your song, I See You Off Camera, and you was like, I want to hear your feedback. And yes. I actually took time to embrace the song and listen to the lyrics. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's how I feel about him. Like she embodied in her song how I feel about him. Yeah, I, I really, we really, uh, when when we heard it, I, I'm I'm like the song really goes with the podcast. I, I feel like it made total sense. It was a great, you know, it was a great marriage and a great thing to talk about because it really reminded me of what we are talking about on, on the yeah. podcast, celebrating yeah. excellence in uh, people winning and celebrating that. I, 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 we feel like that's not celebrated enough. There's so much yeah. clickbait and negative yeah. buffoonery. Yeah. We, yeah. we, I didn't even get a chance to say that to you guys, but we don't do that here. I'm not, we're not, I want to celebrate what you have going on. I want to celebrate the wins. I want to celebrate the love. We want to celebrate the love. So we love the song. And then we did the go-go version with my man, Big G. I, you yes. Know, you know. Shout out to Big G. Yep. And Chucky okay. Thompson, who produced. Okay. So, yeah. Yes. I heard, I heard yeah. the voice. I said, that's G. I said, that's yep. G. It was. Oh, yeah. so I'll tell you. So I didn't know that she was doing the song at first. Like, she's talked about wanting to sing. And, and I've always tried to, you know, push her to go into singing. But, you know, the way the music industry can be sometimes, you know, it's like she wants to be creative. She wants to control what she wants to do. Yeah. And I think, you know, social media has now given artists a platform where they can kind of go off on their own and, and kind of make it themselves. And so she was doing this song and, and we're at the wedding and I'm, you know, hanging out with the fellas and trying to say hi to everybody. And next thing I know, I'm sitting on the dance floor and they're like, oh, Candace is coming. She's coming. And I'm like, OK, whatever. Why am I sitting here? And then she's on stage singing. And I'm like, man. Wow. <laughs> And, and I fell in love with this song, right? Because, I mean, like you said, it embodies everything that we aspire to be, yeah. that how we feel about each other. And then, so I didn't think that I could love the song any more than I did yeah. because that's a, that's a wedding gift, right? Right there right. in the moment at the wedding. And then when, so 
obviously when it was recorded and we initially released it on on the platforms and all that like being her biggest fan i literally sent it to everybody like everybody i knew in radio all, all the djs that i knew just people in general like anybody who i thought <laughs> would want to listen to it. I was like, just listen to it, just listen to it, listen, listen to it. And then so uh, DJ Iron, uh, I've been on his and podcast with Easy Street a few times. You are. And yep. uh, he, he's like, no, um, I love it. And I'm going to get back to you. And next thing I know, Iron and, and Chucky Thompson and I are on the phone and yeah. we're talking about it. And then, man, when I heard the Go-Go mix, I was like, man, because right. I'm from DMV. And so right. so Go-Go is, is, is what this area is about, right? Yeah. It's what we're known for. And just to hear it, the second time was, man, it was amazing. I have chills. Just the first time I heard it, it was, again, like he said, I couldn't believe that it could sound that much better. It just it, it just took it to a whole new place. And, and, and for me, because I'm not from the DMV originally, I've lived here 15 years now, so I'm, I'm a Washingtonian transplant. Oh, uh, yeah, well, yes, yeah. <laughs> Um, so I moved here to to attend Howard University. Eight you know that's right. <laughs> um, and I remember walking down Georgia Ave, right by the cell phone store with the big speaker outside, oh, and they we were know. Blast- we know. yes, <laughs> yep, and they were blasting sexy ladies, and I was like, what is this music? Like this is like I like it, and it's it, there's no sound like the go-go sound, like mm-hmm. that go-go beat yeah. gets in, you, turn them, you, you can't turn it off. And I said, this music is, it's just, it's, it's dope. And I knew that when I was going to work on whatever music projects I was going to work on, I always knew I was going to make music. And I always knew when I was gonna make music that I wanted to include a go-go song on whatever my project was. So when we met with Chucky, we were, talk- we were meeting to talk about just working together in general. Right. And I said to him, yo, like whatever we do, I gotta have a go-go record. And he was like, well, why don't we just like, you know, put some stank on the song you already have and make that work. And and that's how I see you the remix. Came about. Nice. So I'd like to take a lot of credit for just yeah. sending that out to you. Yes. You should. You should. You should. Right. Right. You should. Right. You should. Right. Yeah. Somebody's gotta be a cheerleader and I'm yes. happy to do it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. I'll be honest. So I heard the original, you know, yes. and um, I was like, okay, I like this, but I yeah. never embraced the lyrics as I told you until I listened to it again. Yeah. And so then I'm telling um, Jay, you have to hear Candace's song. Candace has a song, right? So I was trying to play the go-go version because the DJ that he is, you know, right. you right. know, I'm like, okay, let me play the go-go version because, right. you know, Get he's going to love it. However, yep. that's not how the cards panned out. The R&B version came up first. And uh, okay. he was listening. I'm like, yeah. oh, wait. <laughs> like, oh, wait. <laughs> and he was like, oh, I like that. And, I, and so then I looked again and was like, oh, here's the go-go version. So then I'm playing it. And I see him yeah. like, oh, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know, again, it's about celebrating your wins. And you said you always wanted to be a singer. And I wanted to talk about that with you guys as well. It, I, I'm a firm believer of we speak things into existence. And we I live by that. I learned existence. So I, 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 want, I, I want you both to really tell that story because, again, you, you were super successful and the power of the tongue is really heavy. Mm-hmm. So for somebody who's maybe going through something right now that's either watching now or, or is going to watch later, um, what do you say to them? I am a huge believer in manifesting. Uh, I, me and the Lord, we real tight. I, I love me some Jesus. I came from Jesus. If you watch the show, you'll see that I came from Jesus. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm very big on having a prayer life and having whatever kind of relationship that you're going to have with God, fostering that relationship. So my manifesting, I manifest through through God, but you can manifest anything. Right. And it really is, as you said, in the power of the tongue, life and death is in the power of the tongue and what you speak becomes so. Right. And I'm so adamant about ensuring that, or trying to ensure that the things that I say are, are speaking life and power and positivity over myself, over my family, over my husband, over my home, 
over our food, Jesus, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, because what you put out into the universe is going to come back to you. So even simple things like when we're departing, it's always see you later. It's never goodbye. I'm very big on that. He Because he used to always say, okay, bye. No, 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 see you later. Because um, I want to see you again. Right. Um, and then, and I'll tell you another little story. I, for a year, would just kind of jokingly say, child, Netflix is going to call me. I'm going to be on Netflix. Netflix is going to call my phone. I'm going to go sit on the Netflix mm -hmm. stage. I'm going to, and just you know, not even really knowing what I was putting out into the air. Right. And then one day, randomly, last, Fe this past February, right? Yeah, this yeah. past February. Yeah. Chris, Chris is also, I call him my husband, Jer, my husband manager. Okay. <laughs> It's my the emails uh, requesting me for for everything, and he sends me an email from Netflix asking me to read for a part for um, Netflix's show Family Reunion, which stars Tia Mowry and Loretta Devine. Mm -hmm. And I ended up going to I LA love this show. shooting uh, a, for a week a guest role on Family Reunion on Netflix. That's that's when I started to be like oh because that was that's like the third time since we've been together that I've seen her, that's how we got on Housewives. We were sitting, yeah, literally, yeah. like I don't, I was not a fan of Housewives, it's not my thing, like sports and that's literally I, it. I understand, I understand. Right. right, and we're laying in bed, like I'm trying to go to sleep because I had to work in the morning. He's like, oh, well, I'm gonna watch Housewives of Potomac because one of my friends is on there and we gotta watch it and da 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 And so we're watching the first episode of season one and she's like, why am I not on the show? I need to be on the show. I know her. I know these people. I go there. I go here. Why am I not on the show? I'm going to be on the show. And I'm just laying in like, uh, -huh, yeah, sure, sure yeah. babe. Do whatever you want. <laughs> go for it. Yeah, whatever. Eight <sighs> months later, phone call. Yeah, it's... And here we are. You, and, you know, everybody has to... You have to find your power. Mm -hmm. And my, my best friends tell me all the time that I have the power to manifest things that I want. And they've all said that we've watched you speak almost everything that you've wanted in your life. So you, it, and it, it can really, that power exists in everybody. You just have to tap into it and hone it and own it. And work. And work, and work. It's right, work. you can't just, you can't say, just say it, it and then sit back. So for, so for me, when I was, when it was time to go to LA and you know, walk on the Paramount lot and, and you know, shoot family reunion, I had been prepared for that. I had done several years of acting courses, I'm always, when I'm watching television, film, I'm studying. I'm always, I can't even really watch movies with people because I don't want to talk during the film because I'm studying what they're doing, how they're moving, what their facial expressions are doing. I'm rewinding and starting again to see, well, how did she deliver that line? I'm studying lines. I'm reading lines. I'm, I'm practicing um, character development. I'm always doing that. So you also have as they say, stay ready so you don't have to get ready, which is very important. Exactly. But, but you all, you have to believe it. You really have to believe what, that you deserve what you want. That's that's and literally how our relationship started. She'd be on bus trips back and forth from, from uh, New York City in her acting classes. And at the time, I was managing the beverage program at POV at the W Hotel. So I wasn't getting home until 2 or 3 in the morning. She's on the bus coming, coming home at 2 or 3 in the morning. And we would just be on the phone as friends, talking to each other about our boyfriend or girlfriend or situationship or whatever was going on at the time. <laughs> boyfriend for her, situationship for me, but mm. whatever it is, it doesn't matter. But yeah, <laughs> she's just always, always done that. So you know, it's interesting that you talk about manifesting things because that's kind, of, that's how we live as well. Um, I remember last year, I random conversation. And we were sitting there, I said, so you won't be at this place by this date. Um, by this time next year, we will be doing X, Y, and Z. Yes. We will be doing, we would have done this, that, and the third. And every single thing, every single thing, like we talk about it, has happened, you know? Yes. Um, and I just believe in it. But then, you know, I'm a PK, you know? So that's yeah. how I was raised. I was raised that... You live in God's will and not your will. Yes. You know? And once you embrace God's will, all of the doors open up. Yeah. So, Candace, do you have your glass of wine? Because I'm going to take Jay's 
Oh, yes. I'm going to take his whiskey. Yes. As we, as we allow the men to talk right. about sports betting. Oh, Let me yeah. sit back. <laughs> I mean, it's right. like part of a relationship, right? <laughs> I, listen, she she has put wages in at this point. She oh, has, she's cashed a few. Me? I don't, she's you cashed don't. a few tickets. So, Candace, okay. don't let this young lady fool you or, or give you the 52 fake out. She <laughs> has cashed a couple of tickets. Okay. All right. She's, all right. she's, she's done some homework, listened to some podcasts, and <laughs> cashed a couple of tickets. Hey, put this back. Put this in for me. And Except then, we bet differently. Okay. Okay. So, so I bet um, statistically. You know, uh, and okay. and um, um, Candace, you'll appreciate what I'm about to say. And if you notice, my name is Doctor. Come so, on, I don't miss a doctor, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, miss that. So I allow my PhD to study differently than he does. Cheers. King, 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 king. <laughs> So when he wants to have his conversations, I'm like, can you just do what I asked you to do? Do it the way I did. I asked you to do it so I can reap the benefits of my studying instead of me listening to this. Come on. Hey, Chris, go, go ahead, buddy. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I try to let her know, hey, this is what it is. The money line is based on, basically based on $100. So if the... Okay. If the if the money line is minus two twenty, that means you have to lay two twenty. You have to pay two twenty in order to make a hundred back. Mm -hmm. That's I mean that's really that simple. That, yeah. that's, that's, I don't understand that because you right. don't want to understand well, that, well, that you not. don't understand it. So, right, so right. I, I told you what it is. I am, right. am not a quantitative person at all. You, I can write a ten k paper with my eyes closed, no problem. So I'm I'm getting my master's, my MBA at Howard right now, nice. and I my last class was accounting for executives. And guess who's gonna get his name on that master's degree? <laughs> Say that. Say that. I, so my my two classes before that, organizational behavior and leadership, I got I knocked that out of the park. Uh, marketing for executives, knocked that out of the park. But when I tell you this accounting, I just I'm not a numbers person at all. And my okay. next my next course. In January is accounting or not accounting, um, economics. So I'm all so pray for me because he's also going to be doing that. I'm not a numbers person, so he has a really hard time explaining that part of the sports betting because it's so simple. To me. If it, it really is not, it's not. Candace, I'm with you. Look, I'm sitting there like, what are you talking about? Just if it's, if it's a plus line, your hundred dollars is going to get you plus whatever it says. If it's a minus sign, you've got to put that down to get a hundred dollars. Yeah. Very simple. It, it, your best, the best, the best wager is when you when you see a team that's plus a big number, and you know that they can beat the favorite. It is yeah. nothing like that. When you see, they're, right, they're <laughs> few and far between. Right. But every now and then, there's one, right. and you look like Big a boss. Buzzy. You're yes. like, right. I just put down a hundred dollars. And nobody thought that. Let's 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 think of one that. Um, I got one recently. I got one recently. Uh, the Washington football team. Okay. To beat Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Nobody, but I, I told my father. I said Pittsburgh is fraudulent. Yes. I, I told him that, man. You crazy? Because it's I'll, something that me and my father do together. I said you. I told you they fraudulent, man. When when you struggle to beat Jacksonville. Who is a nobody team? They've what they got one win this year. Right. When you go to Dallas, who is on a guy they picked up off the New York Giants practice squad three days prior, and you beat them at the end of the game by a field goal, you are not a good team. You're right. Washington like, is I not have made that that decision. Like if I had to choose between the Washington football team and Pittsburgh, I don't. Even, I've never even heard of a Pittsburgh team, so I would have chosen. <laughs> oh, that's chosen. No, no, Candace, Candace. Candace. I don't even know who they are. I've never. They must be new. No, Candace. <laughs> it's the Steelers. 
Candace, no. It's no. a Super oh, franchise. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you didn't say that. Super Bowl win. You we, said Pittsburgh. I didn't hear Steelers. I do know the Steelers. But that's the yes. same thing. We don't okay. have to say Steelers because everybody to knows me, we're talking about football. Right, so that's what I was thinking. I'm say the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay. And oh, this so is why wait. she's never made a bet. Right. <laughs> See, I, so I would have chosen the Steelers. Yeah, and you would have really? lost. Really? So because I would I would have never chosen the Steelers. However... That is because I'm from Baltimore and we okay, hate yes. the Steelers. Yes, the Ravens. I know about yes. that rivalry. We yes. hate. I know about that. See, and I'm not, but how about this? I'm not a Ravens fan. So, but I hate the Steelers. But you got purple on. That's because I look good in it. So, you so. I was I just got purple. Purple. Oh, time out. <laughs> you just got to telling me five minutes ago, being the doctor that you are, <laughs> you look at the analytics and the statistics. But now you just say, I hate Pittsburgh. I've never been on them. But statistically, statistically, if we're looking at all the numbers, and I, I, I'd have to go back and look at what I had on that game, but it would have been really, really close, which means on a money line, Pittsburgh was probably really inflated. And just because the money line says something, there's an actual probability of win based on a, a multitude of statistics. Oh, God. And so just because, and this is the thing, this is what a lot of sports bettors don't get, and this is why they lose. They say, well, statistically speaking, the Steelers should win. So uh -huh. I'm going to bet the Steelers. Mm -hmm. And statistically speaking, yes, they should they win. Should. However, how much should they win by? What is that probability? What's the over-under? Well, that's part of it, too. But Go ahead, Candace. I don't know what you <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say, based on the statistics, based on the statistics, the Steelers had a 50% chance of winning. That means the money line should have been even, 100-100. But they bumped it to minus 220. Right. But it's 50-50, and so the Redskins would have been plus 300 or whatever it was. And the value, and this is the why sports betting and investing it's not gambling it's investing mm -hmm. is very similar to the stock market in the sense that yeah. it might not look like the right play you might think it's going to go this way but the value like you're not going to pay five hundred dollars for a wig that's worth 250 right yeah right. Sure uh, but i will pay five hundred dollars for a good wig that i will do sure well. but this particular one's not worth 500 it's worth 200 you're going to find the price for that the one so you get the value for your money, right? Right. Right. This might not be the right one. They might it might be good, but it might not. But this one I know is good and it's cheaper. I'm going to pay for the cheaper one because I know it's good. And that's sports betting in a nutshell. You've got to find the value. That's Just because you know what? It that's says one thing. To explain that. That's a great way to explain. Right. You have to you have to relate to them on their level. Like I could go into numbers and this and this and probability and positive expected value. And, and they're gonna look at me like Swahili. We're speaking still, still. Look, these for me, are still nothing like going to the window and cashing this ticket. I, I, right. I, I want to see you with those crisp one hundred dollar bills Just and them. giving me my money. It, it is Peel nothing them. like going to the window and and getting that. So I understand that part of it. It's, it's nothing, it's right. nothing right. It's, it's, it's the, the part right. afterwards that you really understand. It's like there's That's a bag, the there's part. a wig, there's this, there's a shirt, there's a shoe, there's something coming with it. Yeah, I know. Right. Right. I understand that part. <laughs> so, so I do enjoy it. Um, I do a lot of homework, um, you know, books with just notes and uh, let they want to roll who's hurt, who's in, who's out, uh, especially now yeah. because of COVID. That's a, it, you know, that's a whole. It is different thing. And, and, and speaking of that, fantasy, um, I lost in the fantasy championship uh, oh. this weekend because Brandon Ayuk <laughs> gave me three points. Oh and, yeah. Uh, Robert Woods gave me eight points. Man, it was nothing. a tough week. For, it was nothing, a tough not, nothing. And I took Jeff Wilson, running back for uh, for San Francisco. No moster, no. so I know he was going to get going heavy get carries. Ball. Heavy carries. I'm thinking Aaron Jones, uh, uh, Jamal Williams is out. We good. And then AJ so Dillon came out of uh, – where did he come from? But right. that hurt me as well. I, I needed probably about 30 points from Aaron Jones, and he had digs like on Monday. 
in right. the championship. He had digs on Monday, and I was up by 19 points. Candace, we've lost control. He I, had three touchdowns in the first three I, quarters and then got hurt, and it didn't matter because he already had three touchdowns, 10 catches, and 157. Right out. Bang. Right. Yeah. Right out. Yeah. yeah. So I, I'm, sorry, I, I, I'm sorry that we went on a tangent. Chris, no, yeah. So um, Can I tell so, you, that's where, Jay, that's where I've gotten so – so my my YouTube channel I just started. I took I've taken the last two weeks off for Christmas and, and everything, but uh, it's called the Prop Shop, and so it's it's the best of both worlds for fantasy people and people who bet on sports. Because yes, I can go bet on the game, right, the spread or or the money line or whatever. But I love the player props. Right. Like that's where the value is. That's where the, all the real money is. Like you never know what happens in the course of a game, right? Somebody gets in John Morant the other night, high angle sprain in the first quarter. You know, you would think something real simple to get four and a half, uh, you know, rebounds in a game, but but he gets hurt. But right. it's those things. And, and that's, I focus my YouTube channel on that. So I, I, I get into all the analytics and stuff and I've got notebooks on notebooks. Oh and my God, spread. and books and just like, Red sheets, it's it's, it's I know. So so I need to talk to you because oh where God. I usually go to put my wages in, I can't get props. There's no props mm. until until Super Bowl. What's a prop? The prop so so basically on a standard game, right? You've got the if it's a football game, you got the spread. Let's just go back to the Washington Redskins and the Steelers. Pittsburgh minus ten. They've got to win by eleven for you to win. Or you can take Washington to either lose by less than 10 or right. win the game. Okay. Bet number one. Or the money line, you just pick the winner. But okay. you have to pay, if it's a big favor, you're going to have to pay. Okay. Or there's the over-under, right. which is the total amount of points in the game. Those are yeah. like your three standard bets on a game. Props or anything else, like Ben Roethlisberger is going to have 50 pass attempts over-under. Oh. Right. Okay. Running back's going to have 87 yards okay. over under and, and stuff like that. So okay. is, the Props. coin toss, is it going to be heads or tails? Oh, see, that's I'll tell you one of my favorite prop bets of all time, favorite prop bets of all time, Super Bowl, where Christina Aguilera sung the national anthem. How long How long the national anthem is going to be? Over yeah. under a minute. a minute and 50 seconds. Yes. So yes. I literally sang the national anthem in my head. And I think I got like to a minute and 32 or something. I was going kind of fast. I was like, this is Christina Aguilera. Over. And she missed an entire verse. And it still went over by 30 seconds. Easiest money ever. Right. Super Bowl the color of the Gatorade. You can literally bet on what color the Gatorade is going to be. Jump on the coach. coach. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Just know, the last thing I'm going to say about this is never bet Kansas City to cover the spread. Yeah, right. This season. You're that's done. Can, the Kansas City Chiefs are playing with, with teams right now. And right. they have them because they they're so good. They have them, like he said, price really high. It, the point spread is really high, and they haven't been covered. Right, they win, but they haven't been covering. So anybody one, one of my listening is a quarterback passing yards, but I never bet on Patrick Mahomes because no, right. they laid the line, and he's either going to be way low, right, or he's going to throw for a million yards over, and you just never—it's just no value. You can't, you can't be profitable with it. Right, it's a crapshoot. So I'm going to take this back from you guys. Okay, go okay. ahead. Okay. I'm going to take this. Go back ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Take it back. Reel take you it back. guys in. Take it back. Reel you back in. <laughs> So, the <laughs> yes, ahead. the producer in me is uh, reeling right. it back. Ah! Yes. <laughs> I, I can talk about Reel this. Back. Jay, I'm going to hit you up afterwards. Okay, on please, please, <laughs> please, please, please. Candace, so this is the portion. This is my favorite portion of the podcast where we get to play games. Yes, oh. love games. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Games. So, <laughs> this is how it goes. Of okay. course, Jay is going to ask the sports question. No, uh, uh, uh mate, that's not Stalker, true. Yes. That's yeah. not. That's not true. That's not true. However, I will ask you two questions. Okay, okay. the first question I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna flip it. I'm, I'm gonna switch it today. The first question I'm gonna ask you, and you just answer. The okay. second question I'm gonna ask you, and you answer it until you cannot answer it 
any longer. Okay? Okay. 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 So let's see. What shall I ask today? Okay. She, so, had, she had a notes. You see, she went to the phone and got a notes. Okay. Producer form. Yes. Yes. Okay. My own glasses. Sincere glasses. Anyway, so my first question is you had me when? For instance, Jay, you had me when, and it's interesting because me and Candace was talking about this off um, camera, but you had me when my mentor passed away and we had to be out of town for business and I just got the call and mm -hmm. you were like, if you don't want to go, we don't have to go. You want me to go, I'll handle it. And then you took it further to when we had to go to his actual funeral and we had to be there at 5 a.m. because that was our check-in time to get there. And you were, you got up and you walked down that aisle with me and you made sure that I was strong the entire time. I was so, suited and booted, and you was, you I'm looked playing, playing, good. I'm playing, I'm playing. You looked good. I'm playing. I'm talking I trash. I even never going to lie. Yeah. Yeah. He looked good. I mean, you know. Um, President Obama came by, but I wasn't looking at him. I was looking over there. Yes. Anyway, so you had me when you stood beside me and you knew how hard this was for me. And you like, just, you were like, whatever we built, you know, yeah. you're built, I'm built, but right now you can lean on me. So you had me then. Ten toes down. Ten toes down. We stand ten toes down. All right, Nick. I always say that all the time. We stand ten toes down. Yeah. Right, so it's my turn. Yeah, you had me. I had you one one. Okay, you had <laughs> no. Um, you had me when I knew it wasn't fate. I, I I had a lot of people around me. A lot a lot of folks that went to the club and went to this event and you know again go to meet Candace and Chris and you know, want to take the pictures. What I knew was you really loved and wanted me to win just because you loved me. Not because of anything else and you were with Jay, you had bigger clients that I told you not to, not, you, you had clients that I told you not to stop working with. You stopped working with them because you said you wanted to put a thousand percent into me. Because we were business and then we fell into love. So, uh -huh. and I told her, I told her, stay, keep the client. Yeah. So I told her, we, because we, we like business. You heard right? Yeah. We so like Chris, Candace yeah. had you win. Oh, I'm going first? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So for me, it was literally day one, first day. Um, it, but it wasn't, so here's the thing it wasn't, it didn't start out as a date. It was. <laughs> We it fight about this to this day. It was okay, so she started her pageant consulting business. We were really <coughs> excuse me. We were really good friends. I was like, let's go out to celebrate, start up your business. She said yes. And so through conversations or whatever, she always was like, if somebody ever asked me to go out, it's gotta be da -da 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 -da, whatever. I made reservations at a restaurant, no big deal. I always told her that because I've been married before I got kids. I was like, I'm never getting married again. I'm never having kids. Like I'm, I'm And done. I said I was never going this to is my marry answer. a man with kids and who is married before. But go ahead. This is my answer. <laughs> and so we're literally at dinner. We're probably halfway through the main course. And I'm just looking at her and I'm like, is it the conversation? Just everything was genuine and real. And and I just felt this this comfort that I could be me. Right. Like I didn't have to worry about the fact that I've been married and divorced. I didn't have to worry about the fact that I have kids already. Like you see me for me. And that was awesome. And and it's like, all right, you wanna go to a bar? We went to like three other bars and it was cool. And we fell asleep in the car, talking, talking. talking. Fell asleep in the car. And I'm like, yo, I gotta, I gotta go to work. <laughs> and, right. and, and me right then, like I knew right then. Oh, honey. Okay, your turn. Okay, Candace. Okay, Candace. So I thought I thought about this, and yes, that I your story was good, and 
But I kind of knew before that. I've got a better one. Like, your story was okay. You knew before that? that time I, time I, you knew before that? I had an inkling. Yeah. News to me. So. That's why she got dressed up. I got dressed up because you invited me to go out on a date. Anyway. But I digress. Carry on. Um, so, you, oh, this is really random. You won't even remember this. You will, but like, you wouldn't think it was this. So, we worked together mm-hmm. at uh, the W hotel and working upstairs at POV is like you have to be built a certain way to work up there because of the type of clientele because of you know the the type of service they do the volume of service that they do it's it's you have to be built a certain way and on weekends it gets crazy mm-hmm. there was a night when a guy collapses on the rooftop mm-hmm. and it he they had to choke. clear out the roof he, he did he choke yeah, he, he choked, choked on something, something. Oh, wow. fell out they had to clear the roof the staff is like freaking out everybody's losing it you know i i get spooky i turn into you know pastor so and so i'm trying to pray with people i'm trying to pray over the man <laughs> i'm asking the staff if they want to pray like I, that's where i am but it's like it's it was crazy and it was just it was so much and he, they performed CPR on this guy for what felt like a long time. hours, a long time. hours. And I had never, you know, been that close, knock on wood, been that close right. to, you know, mortality, mm-hmm. really. And it, it was, it was, it was a lot. And I remember we were in the the little breezeway, and. I was like wringing my hand, just like freaking out. Everybody was crying. And he like pulls me and just as a friend, we were just friends. Okay. He pulls me over to him and he gives me a like a hug, like just the most comforting. It's gonna be all right. You're gonna be fine. Okay. All right. And just I just remember how calm he was and how much of a comfort he was to me. Wow. And I will just I will never forget that. And I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that night was that was a crazy night. I love just tears. Being being up there that night. I don't and, have any tissue. And everything and being <laughs> being the guy, being the manager on duty that night with everything going on. It was. It was a lot. It, it was, and and there were probably thirty staff members working that night, yes. and I wasn't the only manager, but but he was the only one giving somebody, out hugs. <laughs> and just and, I was to everybody. And being I so comforting. But like, but that was a foreshadowing because he is literally that person for me in our marriage. He oh. is he is my comfort. He is my my balm and Gilead. He is my he is my person. Wow. And that, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I almost feel like we need to leave it there. I know. It, I, it was so I, you know what? I don't think right, I need to so end good. my right. I don't think we need to continue. <laughs> Like thanks, Candy. Right, wait, 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 that's what I do. <laughs> Thank you, Candace. Right. I think we should leave it right there. Right. Yeah. I, I don't even. Uh, yeah, it was that good. Yeah, I, that, I, was, that was the money shot. I know. Right, yeah, the yeah, money yeah. shot. I'm, oh. with, I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not asking my. I'm, we're, we're not going to part two. Right. So, and I'm not even going to ask <laughs> what I normally ask. So I'm not because I'm gonna leave it right there. I felt like it was that. It, it was that good. It was that authentic. So mm-hmm. I, I don't want to. I want to lose that. Um, I want. I want you guys. This is your shameless plug portion okay. of the evening. Yes. So anything okay. that you guys have going on, whatever you're you're working on, whatever you need to plug, this is your opportunity and your time to plug it. So um, you guys have the floor. We're going to sit back and watch you as an audience and plug everything everything oh my god especially especially the bundles yes <laughs> yes the bundles yes so we talked about prima hair collection you can visit primahaircollection.com for all of your hair extension and wig slash unit and closure and frontal needs we're also expanding into other products so very soon we're going to be bringing you either a beauty box or some other surprises uh, that a lot of our customers have been asking for for a really long time. So look for that. You can visit premiahaircollection.com or see us on Instagram at 
Prima Hair Collection. Um, what else? Okay, I will also plug our salon suites. If you're in the uh, Atlanta area or just south of Atlanta, McDonough, Georgia to be exact. Okay. My family owns a salon suites business, chateausalonsuites.net. Okay. Uh, if you are looking for stylists, estheticians, nail techs, barbers, they are all at Chateau Salon Suites. If you are a stylist, a, 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 a esthetician, a barber, a barber <laughs> who is looking for a suite, ChateauSalonSuites.net. We have suites open and available for you right now. And some, you know, I pop in every now and then. Mama pops in every now and then. Uh, and it's it's a it's a close knit little family, but we do have uh, about thirty five suites, and several of them are available right now. So check that out at chateausalonsuites.net on Instagram at chateausalonsuites. Okay. Uh, music wise, I am working on an EP slash LP. We're not sure yet. Okay. Uh, there may be enough goodies to to complete an LP. Um, but it's funny, you all kept saying one word. You kept saying this one word that I take as a sign because okay. we're kind of deciding what the single should be. And you kept using this word, and I, I won't say it. No, so, tell me, tell no, me, tell me. You, you tell me. Got Come it. on. You, 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 you got to say it. Are you kidding me? It's, it's, it's going to be the single. It's the one that I've been pushing for as the manager. It's the one that... Uh, the team. Our our overall manager has been pushing forward. It's called Win. Yeah, and we've been talking about winning all night. And the yeah. song is called. You Win. all have said it so many times, and it just and it's been really you know on my heart trying to figure out what is what's the next single because I see you, I see you, the remix it have have been great. There's been an amazing response, and I have to shout out everyone who has supported both songs, you've no idea what it means to me. I love everybody so much for supporting my music and playing it and sending me videos, dancing to it. I see everything and I, I, I see you, I see all of you. So it was really important that the next single be something that I feel like my supporters can connect with. And the lyrics to this song and just the message behind this song are so, so it's powerful. so important to where we are right now and you know opening up and going into 2021 the the meaning behind the song we were talking about how important lyrics are to me the lyrics and the meaning behind the song are so pertinent to me and where i've been in 2020 but they're also going to be really really important to where everybody else has been and helping everybody to really like lay the foundation for 2021 so I'm really excited to debut when as the single. I can't believe I'm saying that. This is like the exclusive because nobody, <laughs> nobody knows that. It, it's that's gonna be. Yeah, it. we've all. I've always known it was gonna be it. But yeah, it's thing. taken me a minute to get there. But so look for that at the top of the year. Look for the full project. There's this project that I'm working. I'm so. I'm literally so proud of it. Um, and I'm really critical of everything. Everything that I do, everything that I say, every move that I make, I'm uber critical of me personally, especially my singing. And when I tell you, when I listen to this body of work, I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud of what I've done. And, and the team that I've worked with, my, my co-writers, my producers, my vocal arrangers are like literally some of the best in the business. I don't even deserve them. I, the Lord yes, sent them to yes, me yes. like they have just they, they they put their foot in this music for me. Right. So I can't wait for you guys to hear that. That will be coming top of the year, close to the spring. We're thinking about doing a music video for I See You, mm -hmm. the remix, which I've been wanting to do for a long time because the remix is my totally. my love song to D.C. Okay. 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 Love that's that was my DC grew me up. It made me savvy, scrappy. It made me this mess that you see before you today. And that was, I see the remix is really my homage to DC. So doing a music video to, to compliment the song is really just that that's the full package for me. Okay. So um, look for that with music there. Netflix. 
whenever that happens. Family Netflix, reunion. Family reunion will be coming out very soon. Um, and she's got way more than I. And do. there'll be, I there'll be other good. projects. Lots, lots, lots of stuff. Look, I, I'm I'm not that detailed <laughs> in, in my stuff. I'm very simple to find. You can go find me at thechrisbassett.com. I do catering, personal chef events. So you can go through that site, find me there again, thechrisbassett.com. Um, and if you're into the sports betting stuff, follow me on YouTube Prop at the Prop Shop 33. <laughs> um, all of my stuff there is always free. I think sports betting is a great way to get it's it's investing. Look, the stock market is crazy. It goes up and down. It's based on emotion and all that other stuff. Sports is always going to be here. Um, right. Don't don't knock it until you really look into it. But right. all my stuff there is always going to be free and open to everybody. So the Prop Shop 33 on Instagram, YouTube. Um, but yeah, and, and if you're into catering and personal chefing, uh, thechrisbassett.com. Or if you are a business owner and looking to do something for your employees, you can go to tryhungry.com and can book me to do an online cooking experience for you and your staff as well. So. Nice. I like that. I want to, um, before I throw it back to Jay, I want to say um, two things. And Candace, this is to you. One, I don't want to ever, I don't care who you're talking to, what interview, what I'm reading. I don't want to ever hear you say again, um, you don't deserve the people who are around you, okay? Deserve because you deserve all of it. I'm gonna cry, oh my God! You've worked, you've worked way too hard not to deserve it. You um, are God-fearing and um, you, you you deserve it. You know, oh my God, she's really gonna get tissue. <laughs> They're always close by because so listen. We just had a whole conversation about man of, how we manifest, you know? You're right. So You're right. you will never, like, that is completely out of your vocabulary, your your conversation. That's not what we're ever hearing again, okay? Is that our agreement? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the second thing I wanted to say is, Chris, um, please add the DJ on besides sports um, betting. Yeah, so I'm gonna, can, I, I right need after. to hear when. I need to hear when. When I, I'll send. I've got. I don't have the mixed and mastered version. Yeah. I send. I'm gonna send you the rough cut though. Okay. It's a send, rough cut. So I'll rough. hit. So, so no, Chris, you know I'll what? hit you I, up and send you his phone, his Chris, information. Send me the mix and master. I oh. want to. I want you to hear the rough. No. Cut. You want you want me to hear <laughs> the rough cut? Rough cut. Okay. Because I love it. Okay. I love it. <laughs> and and I, I, I look my. I'm not a musical person. But literally, all I listen to all day, every day of my life is '90s R&B. Oh my god! And if I didn't think that this was worthy to send it to anybody, okay, I got you. I wouldn't give it to you. It's, I got you. I got you. Even the rough cut is like, all right, this I, it's it's good. So like, so just, you'll, you'll as, catch as, a couple things here and there, but it, it's it's good. As a DJ, sometimes the rough cut is the one. Sometimes you sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. When when it gets too cleaned up, yeah, yeah, it, it takes the heart and soul out of this song. You know, yeah. sometimes that dirt and grit and that part of it is what adds the soul to the song. Right. It's one of the reasons why I love this one because she's very critical of her voice, mm -hmm. and and this song is stripped down. Oh think my God. think Janelle Monae. Think her. Just strip down vocals. Okay. Wow, nice. It's, it's, it's good. Okay. I want to share um, one last thing, and then I'm going to throw it over to um, Jay. What you guys cannot see is that we, um, tons of people have commented um, tonight. And I want to share some of the comments. Um, um, Belinda, Belinda Merritt from Baltimore was like, oh, Candace, I need some of those bundles. And so she has the information to go to your page. Yes. Um, um, Deborah McCoy, um, she lives in Howard County, Maryland. Um, um, piggybacked on what I just said to you. She says, I agree. What God has for you is for you. Candace, never again shall you say that. So Thank with you. that said, guys, I, like, I love you. I feel like we're family. I and know. I feel like we're family. Like, this hour went by like that. Like, oh, my God. I, I, you know, it's funny. When I was doing some homework, I was like, 
I, I just was thinking, I, I saw it, and you can't, authenticity, you can't fake that. You cannot. You, you can't, you can't fake it. I, I, you just can't. So I saw, no, this is going to be cool. Like, I, I see it. They really are a cool couple. They're beautiful. It's going to be a, a great, a great hour, a great interview, a great, uh, a, a great podcast. And that's what it ended, ended up being. And I, we really appreciate it. And I, I am so glad that we were able to pick your single and we didn't even know that this was the next single. Um, yeah. that, we that's able, great. That's we great. were able to pick that in signs. We get signs. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that it's about you're probably, and correct, and probably correct. That was a sign. Mm -hmm. That was the way. Chris, you said you already knew it. So uh, it, that's probably the one. I've been pushing for it for a bit. Yes. Right. That's probably just, the one. I just needed uh, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of out of your week, out of your out of your day. 2020 has been, you know, a roller coaster ride. We have Forever. survived. We still here to tell a story. Um, some people weren't as fortunate, but uh hopefully we got some learning lessons out mm -hmm. of uh 20, 2020. I, I know that you guys have you shared a lot of them, and uh, I know we've we had as well. So um I just, I'm just grateful for you guys that come on the platform. We're grateful for you guys that come on the platform. And happy early New Year! We, we are super yes. thankful, and, and um, yes. I, I'm just, just glad to sit and talk with you guys. And I know that we're going to build from this point. So thank you yes. so much. You know, yes. let's thank keep you, all man. negative energy out of our circles, and uh, let's continue to keep winning. Right, keep winning. winning. Yes, winning. Thank keep you, So thank you so much. Uh, that's it. I don't have nothing yeah. else. Uh, well, look, Chris and yeah. Gaddis, what a way to end it. What a way to end 2020. So we that's the way ever. Love on business or a lot. The yes. podcast. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you so much. She took Cheers. my, she took my I took glass. I took she, took glass. Glass. <laughs> she does the same to me. I just wanted to make sure we get. Yeah. I, I, would, I would put the water up or the bottle, but nobody is paying. We're not getting any sponsorship, so they can't get any. That's